Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to run Nintendo Wii games on your PC. Let's get started. A few weeks back, I did a video on how to emulate GameCube games on your PC. And for this video, we'll be using the exact same emulator, Dolphin. So if you're curious about GameCube, check out my other video. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can find Dolphin Emulator at dolphin-emu.org. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. If you're curious on what games work with a Dolphin Emulator, I received a lot of questions in the GameCube video. Uh, there is a link, I will leave this in the description as well, to all the games that work with the Wii and with the GameCube uh, version in the emulator. You can see here, they're all listed out, they're stars. You can see 63.3% are playable, 27.1% are perfect. There is also an article that just came out a few days ago called Myth Debugging. Is the Wii more demanding to emulate than the GameCube? I highly recommend giving this article a read. It's a really good read. There's a lot of technical information in there, but in summary, Basically, the Wii shouldn't be that much more difficult than the GameCube to emulate on your computer. The biggest problem you're probably going to encounter trying to emulate the Wii is not necessarily the system itself, but the controller. The Wii Mote, Wiimote, with its motion sensitivity, makes emulation slightly more difficult in the sense that if you want to play your games nicely, your computer might be able to run them, but controlling them is a whole other topic. Once you have Dolphin downloaded and installed, it does not take very long, you can start to add your ROMs. Now, if you have GameCube and Wii games together, it's not a big deal because Dolphin Emulator will automatically distinguish between the games. I highly recommend configuring the controller as well as the graphics. We'll start with the graphics. So once you open the graphics menu, the very first tab here is the general tab. Now this one is interesting because these settings I find I have to change on a game to game basis. I haven't really found a universal setting that works perfect for all of the games that I'm trying to run. Uh, for example, Direct3D 11, this setting works great for Skyward Sword for me. However, if I wanted to play Twilight Princess, I have to switch this over to OpenGL. And again, these settings might be different based on your computer. Uh, different CPUs, different graphics cards, they all perform differently in how they handle the emulator. So this is the area where you will be fiddling around a little bit in order to tweak the settings and make it run better on your computer. And you will also have to do this on a game-to-game -game basis. So have patience here and feel free to change these around. You know, if something doesn't work, just try something else. On the Enhancements tab here, I generally keep things fairly basic. I don't really have the computer power uh, necessary to run this emulator at complete full-blown 4K settings or anything like that. So I keep most things fairly low. I could put up the filtering up to 16 times. I could put anti-aliasing on. Uh, there are a few different options in order to improve the graphics. What I highly recommend is again, just like the general tab, play around in here, see what works on your PC. If you crank up these options just a little bit and it's still running smoothly, then you're okay. If you make a change here and you notice that the game slows right down, then just change them back. In the hacks tab, uh, feel free again to play around in here. In the advanced tab here, you can clearly see I have nothing selected. Uh, this is really just personal preference. If you want to select something in here, feel free. Uh, play around. You can see if you're not quite sure about something, hover over it with your mouse. Uh, for example, borderless full screen here, there is a whole spiel down below in the description about what it is and what it does. One option that is worth checking out is free look. I really like this option. It's really neat. I don't use it all the time. It depends on the game. But if you read the description, you can freely move the camera around, change the viewing angle of the game. It's really, really cool. Now, the next option that I'm going to talk about is one that frustrates a lot of people, and that is the controllers option for the Wii. And yes, you can emulate the Wiimote using a mouse, using keyboard, using a controller. However, your experience doing this may be frustrating the best way to emulate a controller 
or to use a controller with Dolphin emulator for Wii games is actually using a Wii Mote with the Motion Plus inside. Now, if you have the Motion Plus accessory, that's fine. If you do want to use a mouse or a different controller to emulate the Motion Plus, you do need a special Dolphin build in order to do so. I will leave a link to this in the description below. It is a pretty big forum post. There are multiple pages. There's a lot to read through, but I will note that this is an unofficial build of Dolphin. So if you have any problems, you may be out of luck getting help. If your computer has Bluetooth, I recommend the Avantry USB Bluetooth 4.0 adapter. Uh, you can pick this up on Amazon. It's the one I am using to pair my Wiimote with the PC. I find the easiest way to pair the Wiimote is to have the Dolphin emulator open. If you go into controllers, there is a button here called continuous scanning. I usually have that one checked. So I'm gonna power on my Wiimote here. You can see it flashing. My computer will quickly recognize it via Bluetooth. And you can see there, setting up a device. We're setting up Nintendo RBL-CNT-01. And that is now the Wii Motion Plus installed and ready to go. In the controller menu, uh, there are three different options for Wiimotes. Emulated Wiimote, you would select this option if you wanted to use a mouse or controller instead of a Wiimote. A real Wiimote, which is one for one, a real Wiimote. I don't really recommend this option. I recommend using hybrid Wiimote. If you click configure, there is one row of options and only one row of options that you should really need to use. And that is the IR settings. So for this, I've mapped my mouse. I've mapped my mouse with up, down, left, right. I've used the mouse wheel for forward and backwards. And I've done this just to help center the cursor because I'm not using an IR bar you know, that little bar that plugs into the Wii. I'm not using that at all. I'm strictly using Bluetooth. And that being said, to clear up any confusion, you don't even need to use your mouse in the game. This just helps center the cursor on the screen. So I just clicked the play button on Skyward Sword. I set my Wiimote down on the desk in order to calibrate it. So it will automatically calibrate. My Wiimote is connected to my computer via Bluetooth. It's all okay. This is where the mouse comes in handy because now this mouse, uh, the finger is on the center of the screen. So now I have my Wiimote up and running. I'll hit A to hit start. Now my FPS are really low right now and that's because I'm recording. So when I'm not running OBS, is that's the recording software that I'm using, this goes a lot quicker. My emulation speed is considerably down as I'm trying to capture the frames from the game and also from my camera at the same time. Now you can see the frame rate issues I'm running into uh, because I have all the software running at once. Uh, however, I am using the Wiimote to control link around here. And you can see that everything is working. On top of that, I will select the bow And now watch as I move the Wiimote around, you can see the bow moving around as well. And if it ever gets out of sync, you just press the down arrow just like you would on the Wii and it's back to being synced. So now I can use the Wiimote to control on my computer and everything is working very good. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. I do get a lot of questions, especially over all of my videos, so I'm finding it increasingly more difficult to get back to everyone. If I don't get back to you, I do apologize. However, if you do have an urgent question, feel free to check out the Reddit links in the description of this video. Unfortunately, for some people, uh, it may be frustrating to hear that the Wiimote is probably the best way to emulate the Wii games, but don't blame me for that one. I would say it's a very unique controller very hard to emulate. Uh, the mouse and keyboard can do okay. However, if you want the best experience for emulating 
the Wii on PC, I highly recommend picking up a Wiimote. You can get them really cheap from garage sales from basically anywhere because the Wii was a massive selling system with a massive number of Wiimotes. You can still buy them new. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you like my video, leave a like. If you didn't like my video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos, and check me out on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursdays, and some Sundays. Thank you everyone, take care.